Alright, let me do a quick um a quick video about the strategy. Actually I'm looking forward for a long but let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what's going to happen. Do we still have any balance? Okay. Let's see what is going to happen. I'm actually expecting a rejection at this current area that I have. I'm looking for a rejection. So once I get that rejection, I would look to enter for a long. So I would explain. You can see that I've taken my range. Okay. See that I've taken my range. Okay. Let me still wait for to see more rejection. Okay, well, I'm not getting the rejection that I need. I won't enter for the buy. So that means I'm actually wrong. Okay, 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 okay. So we are waiting for it. I'm waiting for the rejection. Can do to show that they want to respect the POI that I have there. And they want to respect the POI that I have there. So once that is respected, I'll be going for a long. I'll be going for a long. Okay. On be forced, I must see that rejection close above it so with that I can confirm my trend. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm good to go now. Let's close above it. I'm good to go. Okay, I'm good to go. I'm good to go now. Okay. 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 Okay, let me take a inside the range back. Open. Alright. Close inside the range. So, I'm looking for that entry. Low, low. I am low, low. Okay. Oh, I said. Actually, I'm not looking for that. But let me restart. So the reason why I put it below this low is that uh, if it's going to be a swing low, you know we should have a what a lower a lower low at the left and a lower low at the right hand side. So that's why I put it there so that. If actually it's going to be a swing low, that's what I'm expecting to form. We understand, so that's that's the reason behind that. That's the reason behind that. Okay. Okay. So you can see that once we close above this current candle, I think I'm good.
Now guys, so like I said, I actually want to be making a video with ICT sliver bullet. So just like we've seen earlier, let me explain the parameter for the trade. Now, last year ICT founder Michael Darcy talked about its sliver bullet strategy and ultimate what very high profitable strategy once you can master it so today i'm actually going to be making a video of it on how you can trade it you can use it to trade on the synthetic indices ict talked about it on indices right you talk about it on indices and you talk about it on what on forex but today i'm going to be showing you how you can apply it in what in tariff so as to have an effective what strategy effective what profitability so now if you look at this setup let me explain right from the onset now if you look at very well i have some triangles i draw they have some lines i trade just naked chart that's all i do naked chart that's all i do so let me show you okay let me show you the the reason behind it and i will show you everything you need to know about it its effectiveness and how you can optimize it now if you look at very well i have this line here this green line here and this green line here now, now this green line here is the high of my words my opening candle four hours candle which was starting by 1 a.m nigerian time in the reef that's 12 o'clock and this is the word this is the low if you can't eat however many candles just four candles here since i'm a one hour time frame so i marked out the words the what sorry this one i marked out the words the open of it here yeah? this was the low of it so now this is the what this is the low of it so i go down to my 15 minute time frame to be more effective and accurate okay so this is the eye of that what that four hours can do and this is the what the low here let me enlarge it small uh, let me enlarge it small okay i think oh it's still not showing so okay so i have it here so now this is the high of that four hours can do and this is the low here so what i did was that i still gave us a time is it the strat the sliver the sliver bullet strategy is the time based strategy with price price time based strategy that's what the sliver target the sliver bullet is all about so and it has given us the time it gave us one at one a.m new york time 9 a.m new york time and what and 10 p.m new york time or 10 a.m i can't remember so both new york london and asia that was already given us away specifically based on it on what on 7 a.m 9 a.m new york time which is going to be the what the new york pair so this is the eye of it of that four hours candle since i'm in london session i look at the time now this is seven o'clock eight o'clock nigerian time so since i'm in new york time and new london session and i want to trade so i focus on the words 1 a.m nigeria is 5 gmt plus one new york from nigeria is four hours plus one hour we'll have extra and that make it five hours one plus five that'll give us six so then the if now is using gmt plus two so that's six now our own six o'clock in nigeria is actually seven o'clock in what in nigeria in in your broker so because these are the things you need to pay attention to your broker time you need to call your server time your broker server time you need to pay attention to it so now i've gotten this high and i've gotten this low so what i did was that i went down to my world to my 15 minute time frame and so on my 15 minute time frame now what i did was this now look at this is, don't forget this is the high so this is actually the high i'm targeting this trade to be now this is the what the low now the opening price was this green line 
right so since price was below now in ideal situation a candlestick will always do two things or the market will always do the same or have the accumulation manipulation and what and distribution power of theory i still talk about it too in his 2017 or he has talked about it times without number so power of wolf power of the markets will start with accumulation manipulation then distribution now we this is the opening price here this green line here we opened here then what we manipulate down to the downside right we came back and then i have this i if you look at the timing of this candle now this is actually around seven o'clock right because the next four hours candle will be closing by what by nine in my time so if you look at this time now this is actually what nine seven a.m right which is beginning of what london session so they already manipulate down to this area now, if you look at this my have this my rectangle here this is my other block my poi from higher time frame so once i look at that confirmation so i just went down to what to my five minute time frame again looking for what for for more confirmation and more trade entry so on five minute time frame i look at it but i have this eye now look at it here now i have this my heart it was broken by this so if you see that i can see that i measured what the range discount premium and what and my equilibrium so as it was around this now so i waited for what for price to come back to my discount area so i can buy at a discount price right i can buy at a discount price so once price was back at my discount i took my entry right i took my entry let me show you i took my entry right i took my entry from there and you can see the sliver bullet strategy is a very powerful strategy once you understand it but it's a time-based strategy time what time-based strategy you can see so i took my entry here now let me use my cross here so that we can see the timing okay so my entry was here right that was 7 15 7 15 look at look down you see the time 7 15 7 15 now is 8 o'clock which we started towards the london session because nigeria is gmt plus one and the river is using gmt zero gmt two plus two so seven p.m the reef time is going to be my own words my own 8 p.m 8 a.m so and that is what i was looking for i can see my entry my stop loss will be below the watch below that low cost now for my student now the part of the bread and butter ongoing mentorship now we make a criteria of what how you can determine your what your swing low and swing high now this is a swing high this is a swing low sorry so now i went to one minute time frame in fixing my what my what now i entered here i had this pullback i have this so the moment i see this now I expect them to close and I see this. So that was why I what I know that a swing low is anticipating already. And that was why I get to what to to put my stop loss there. Now ideally now I've gotten more than two ratio. I've gotten whatever. Let, let's look at my stop loss is sixty dollar. I'm losing sixty dollar. So and let's look at what my take profit will be. I already I'm already running on what on two dollars plus. And maximumly I've run about three dollar right I've run on three dollar already right I've run on three dollar already so I can just look out to what to maximize to what to maximize my what my trade you can see this is it so if you actually need more explanation more trade site on how you can use a sliver bullet with synthetic indices with tariff drop in the comment section more videos and probably i can actually hold a live session where we we'll start from the beginning of framing to framing the setup and we we'll go into it of our entry our exits how you manage your trade just drop in the comment section more videos on what on sliver sliver bullet strategy ict sliver bullet strategy on tariff and i would definitely respond to it meanwhile if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please do where to hit on that subscribe button and what and turn on the bell notification 
so that you can still update it each time i'm dropping a word in new content and if you want to be part of my bread and butter strategy i have a strategy that i'm actually running now a mentorship which is just for 30 dollar which is just for 30 dollar which is just for 30 dollar it's just for 30 dollar it's just for 30 dollar we started the class already so i actually did a breakdown of this so if you want to be part of the strategy just of it so see you guys i've actually scaled in my what my entry i've scaled in you can see that i've added two more position this is an in position here and this is another in position so because i had the confirmation here that was open that is going to respect price up so we look at very well now we seems we're having a what a new sync i being formed here a new sync i here right so possibly this should be what a swing eye but let's see how this can do we close this is a three minute candle so by 8 45 i should see what happened there but hopefully i hope it's going to close above this swing low and we can have a what or probably you can have a, a retracement down to have a what another lower low right lower lower low to the left lower low to the right so that's what i'm actually hoping for but let's see how it's going to be let me pause the video i don't want it to be too so you can see that we had our what our swing low but it's a little bit skeptical lower what lower low lower high to the left lower high to the what to the right hand side so but it's a little bit skeptical because this is a little bit higher so let's see how it's going to be shallow ideally my target should be this eye here to be taken out and this eye to be taken out but let's see how it plays out so you can see you can see the position that i added you can see the position i added so we are still moving we are still moving now if you look at very well it's very possible that we have a pullback down because the swing eye that we have on our five minute time frame swing low rather is somehow but look at this five minute time frame now we can actually call this a swing what a swing low to so in order to validate this we can have a what a pullback just to validate this what this swing guy that should be more clear here you understand so that's what I'm actually expecting there. Now, um, so now look at what I was saying. Everything you need is in your words. I said this the swing load that we had on three minute time frame, what mean time frame was not clear. So as expected, we came back to what to five minute time frame, right? We came back to our five minute time frame now. Now on our five minute time frame now, I told you that this swing load now should form a little is a little bit more clear like that we should expect this last the last five minutes can do that we should have the what a full confirmation of a what of a swing low which is a what a lower low to the left hand side and a lower low to the right hand side you can see what they did they gave us this can do as a lower what as a lower low so that was why when i get here uh, i was not really that panic to close my position because i was looking at this is what i'm expecting them to what to form out Right, and you can see we've got in the what a pass off back to the upside. So this is the what this is the opening price of the last four hours candle, the current four hours candle. So I expect them to what to close above it by what by nine o'clock when we're having a what four hours candle close. And whatever I have by then can determine if I'm still going to be holding my what my position. So that's how you can use the sliver bullet to what to double your account, flip your account. You can see can see my balance two dollar to what to seven dollars and we are still what we are still reading so that's one of the advantage of the what the opening price i think we are in this opening price now right so that's how you can flip your account with it